Have you heard Microsoft announced it will stop releasing new Windows 10 update, security patches, and any kind of technical support for Windows 10 for free starting October 2025. If you would still like to use Windows 10, you need to pay Microsoft some fees. Microsoft suggested all their Windows 10 users to upgrade to their latest Windows 11 operating system by October 2025. They said Windows 11 offers modern, efficient, and provides security during heightened security risk. Your existing Windows 10 computer will work just fine, but you won't be getting all the new update Microsoft has to offer to protect your computer. And your computer could be vulnerable at that moment. So, what do you want to do with your existing Windows 10 laptop? If you don't want to use Windows 10 and you won't get any kind of updates from Microsoft, you might want to consider installing alternative operating system on your existing laptop so that you don't have to toss away your good working computer just because you don't get updates from Microsoft. Where there's a problem, there is a solution. So in this case too, you can install alternative operating system on your existing computer thanks to open source operating system out there there are a bunch of open source operating system you can google it and you can find a list of open source operating system uh, that provide operating system for free hi my name is gopal and welcome back to my channel go tech talk in my channel i create videos related to information technology that you might find helpful if you find my videos helpful, please like them and subscribe to my channel. That's how you support my work. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate on how to install Ubuntu, Linux Ubuntu operating system on your existing Windows 10 laptop. All right, now without further ado, let's jump right into installing Ubuntu operating system on your Windows 10 machine. First thing you need is 16 gig or higher flash drive. Connect the flash drive to the laptop and make sure it is readable from the file explorer. Open the command prompt as an administrator and format your flash drive as FAT32. Follow the on screen command to make the flash drive a bootable drive. Identify the flash drive to make sure you don't accidentally format your computer volume. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to install Ubuntu on my Dell Windows 10 laptop. Depending on your laptop model, you need to find out the key to go into BIOS to change some settings to make uh, the USB flash drive readable by machine. In terms of Dell laptop, as soon as you turn on, keep on pressing F2 button to go to BIOS. Then go to boot menu, go to secure boot, hit enter, and then pick disable, hit enter, hit enter to save, and press F10 to save the settings. Press SK key on your keyboard to get out of BIOS, and then press F12 key while the computer turns on. On the next screen, computer loads up in Boot Manager page. P 
pick the flash drive from the drop down list and then hit enter. Next opens up Ubuntu installation wizard. Click enter to install Ubuntu. Ubuntu installation is almost done. Now follow the on screen prompt and fill up all the information. Yay, look at that. Ubuntu is now finally installed on your old Windows 10 laptop. Now this is your Ubuntu machine going forward. Goodbye Windows 10. Welcome Ubuntu. Unlike closed operating system, open source operating system are also efficient and reliable. They are cost effective and they are also flexible. You can manipulate the code and make it work as per your need. So which is a good thing about open source operating system. But legacy or closed operating system doesn't provide that flexibility. So open source operating system also come with few downsides. They are complicated to install it in the first place. If you are not a technical know-how person, you may find hard to install it. But Windows 10, they come with pre-install on the machine. But Windows uh, open source operating system, you need to install on your own. One of the most important one is there is no any live customer support contrast to Microsoft and Apple customer service. If you face any kind of problems, all you can do is post your issues in their open discussion forum, hoping someone will respond you back. So there is a give and take of installing open source operating system. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like my videos and subscribe to my channel.